welcome story time with Mia the pug if you're new to this channel please make sure to subscribe down below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up today boys and girls will be reading this story right here and it is titled how rocket learned to read in this story the character called rocket is a puppy just like this one right here that happens to learn how to read in the story a little yellow bird finds Rocket and ends up teaching him how to read. We learn how to read by going to school and our teachers help us learn how to read. And we start off by learning our alphabet, the letter A all the way through the letter Z. And then you slowly start learning how to read. Now, at the end of the story, Rocket falls in love with reading and I hope that you also fall in love with reading after watching all the stories with Mia the Pug. Now, are you ready to find out what the story is all about? Ready, Mia? Let's begin. Now make sure to stay to the end of the video because I have some questions for you at the end. I wanna make sure that you're paying attention. Let's start. Rocket loved to play. He loved to chase leaves and chew sticks. He loved to listen to the birds sing. Every fall morning, after chasing leaves, Rocket would lie down his favorite spot under his favorite tree. There, he'd sniff the neighborhood smells and settle in for a good nap. But one day, a little yellow bird startled Rocket. Aha! My first student! Wonderful, she sang. Rocket was confused. Student, I'm not a... But if I am your teacher, the bird interrupted, then you must be my student. Rocket found it hard to argue with this bird. I am so glad you saw my sign, the bird chirped. Oh, yes, I can see it, Rocket said. But I don't know how to read. Can't read? Fantastic, she waved a wing. Welcome to my classroom. But I just come here to nap, Rocket said. No, 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 there will be no napping in class, declared the bird. Except, of course, during nap time. Well, then... I can take a nap over here, said Rocket. I've had a very busy morning. Not to worry. I'll be around every day, chirped Bird, until the weather turns. As Rocket breathed in the crisp air, the little yellow bird hung her banner. Ah, oh, the wondrous, mighty, gorgeous alphabet, she marveled, where it all begins. Opening up a book, the bird began to read. She sang out the story of an unlucky dog named Buster who lost his favorite bone. A cool breeze carried her lively voice across the yard. At first, Rocket was disturbed. But before long, he found himself captivated. To Rocket, the story was as delicious as the earthy smells of fall. It was as exciting as chasing leaves. He closed his eyes and listened to every word. As Buster dug and dug under the lilac bush, the bird read, he felt something familiar. Rocket waited. Was it the bone? He wondered. Silence. Was it the bone, he called to the bird? More silence. Was it the bone, Rocket hollered. Suddenly, he was rushing to the tree. Well, was it? But the yellow bird was gone. The next morning, Rocket arrived early. At last, the little yellow bird appeared. Hello, how wonderful to see you in class. She chirped. I can tell by your waggy tail that you are well rested. I'd like to hear the end of the story, please, said Rocket. That seems like a fine way to start the day, chirped the bird. 
She gave Rocket a name tag and began to read. Every day, Rocket returned to the little yellow bird's classroom. In the morning, the bird taught him a new letter, B, until he had learned all of the wondrous, mighty, gorgeous alphabet. Together, they sang out the sounds that each letter makes and spelt the sounds they heard around them. With a G and many R's, they spelled Mr. Barker's growl. Grrrr. They spelled the sound of the wind, which was growing colder by the day. Whoosh. Soon, they were spelling words like F-A-L-L -L for the gusty time of the year and R-E-D for the color of the leaves. And each afternoon, the bird read a story. She read stories about dogs and birds. She read about leaves changing colors and about birds flying south for the winter. Then one day the weather turned and the letter banner disappeared. See you again in the glorious spring, the bird sang. And as she flew into the wintry sky, she called, don't forget, words are built one letter at a time. The days grew shorter and the leaves fell from the trees. The grass became crunchy. Soon, Rocket's classroom disappeared under the snow. He remembered the little yellow bird's alphabet and practiced his letters. A, B, C. Rocket thought about the bird's sweet chirp while he sounded out words like d, i, g, dig, and w, i, n, d, wind, and k, a, u, d, cold. He made new friends and spelled their names. Hello, e, m, m. Ah, uh, hi there, f-r-e-d. He spelled everything. S-a-n, sun. M-e-l-t, melt. When Rocket spelled m-a-d, mud, he knew that spring, as it always does, had returned. The breeze blew warmer, the grass grew greener, and a sign appeared. Class starts tomorrow. Early the next morning, Rocket rushed to his classroom. As he waited, he spelled w a g wag. Soon, the little yellow bird arrived. Aha! My star student, she sang. How wonderful to see you. I can tell by your waggy tail that you are ready for class. Welcome back, Rocket. Then together they began to read. They read stories about birds flying north in the spring. They read about picnics in the warm sun. And they read about Buster the lucky dog who found his bone under the lilac bush. And when they were done, they read it again and again and A-G-A-I-N, again. The end. All right, guys, now I have some questions for you. Let's see if you're able to answer them. Ready for the questions? Let's begin. Question number one. Who are the characters in the story? Is it letter A, Rocket and the Yellow Bird? Letter B, Cheap, Donkey and Pig? Or letter C, Mia the Pug? 
If you chose letter A, you are correct. The characters in this story is Rocket and the Yellow Bird. Good job! Let's go on to question number two. What was the setting of the story? Now remember, the setting of the story is where the story took place. Is it letter A or is it letter B? Let me give you a couple of seconds to choose your answer. If you chose letter A, good job! The setting of the story was letter A. As you can see, letter B has a picture of the desert. Do you think Rocket and Bird could survive in the desert? Do you think Bird would be there? Clearly not. So the correct answer would be letter A. Now, let's move on to question number three. What was the problem of the story? Was it letter A, that Rocket was napping and he did not want to be a student or go to class? Or was it letter B, that Rocket loved to play outside? If you chose letter A, good job boys and girls, that was the problem of the story. Rocket wanted to continue to nap. He did not want to become a student or learn. And now for question number four, the last question for this story. What was the solution to the problem? Now remember, solution means is how did the problem get fixed? Was it letter A, by Rocket loving to play outside? Or was it letter B, by Rocket falling in love with reading and loving to being in the classroom? Now, if you chose letter B, you are correct. The problem got fixed because Rocket ended up falling in love with reading. Good job, boys and girls. I am very proud of you. Now, this concludes the story for today and the questions. Now, make sure to follow us and make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Till next time. Bye. Thank you.